Okay, so like the universe, we used to think it all started with the Big Bang and just kind of went from there in a predictable way. But now, it looks way more complicated and we might have to rethink like everything. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is showing us galaxies that are way bigger and more developed than they should be, given how old the universe is. We're also seeing weird stuff with dark energy, and even hints that time might not flow the same everywhere. Dark energy is a big part of this. Basically, we don't really know what it is. We just know that galaxies are speeding away from each other, not slowing down like they should be because of gravity. It's like there's some unknown force pushing them apart. People think the universe is made of mostly dark energy, around 68%, with some dark matter, 27%, holding galaxies together, and then just a tiny bit, 5% of the stuff we can actually see, like stars and planets. At first, scientists saw this expansion by looking at super far away supernovas. People studying the cosmic microwave background, leftover radiation from the early universe, backed this up. But now, stuff isn't adding up. New telescopes are giving us better data, and it seems like dark energy might not be constant. It could be changing over time or acting differently in different spots. There's this thing called the Hubble tension, which is basically two ways of figuring out how fast the universe is expanding that don't agree. If dark energy was the same everywhere, they should match up. This has led some people to think dark energy changes, or we're missing ingredients in our model of the universe. Here's another wild idea. What if time isn't the same everywhere? The timescape cosmology theory says that differences in gravity could make time seem to pass at different speeds in different places. If time goes faster in empty parts of the universe than in areas with lots of galaxies, it would mess up our measurements and make it look like the universe is expanding faster than it is. It doesn't get rid of dark energy, but it makes us question what we're seeing. Some scientists are wondering if dark energy comes from tiny quantum fluctuations in empty space or if it's tied to energy fields that change over time and space. The JWST is going to be a big help in figuring this stuff out. It can see the early universe and show us how galaxies formed and how space expanded back then. By studying galaxy formation, we can test if dark energy is constant or not. So, dark energy is still a huge mystery. We might need to tweak Einstein's equations or come up with new physics to explain everything. Maybe timescape cosmology is the answer, and the universe isn't expanding as fast as we think, or at least it is not because of something we don't know. Instead of a new force, it says our view of time is wrong. If time flows differently in different parts of space, it could make far-off galaxies seem like they're speeding away faster. This questions the idea that the whole universe follows one clock. Cosmologists usually say the universe is about 13.8 billion years old, but timescape cosmology says that even small differences in how time flows could add up over billions of years. Some researchers think this could explain the Hubble tension and give us a new way to look at the universe without needing unchanging dark energy. Instead, what looks like acceleration is caused by the uneven shape of space-time. People are testing these ideas against what we see in the universe. Some results say timescape cosmology works as well as the standard model, but it's still new. It involves difficult math and many scientists are cautious about ditching the simple explanation that dark energy could actually be fixed, but changing over some time, and that we might have to update Einstein's theory to better match what telescopes are telling us. This isn't about proving relativity wrong, it's about making our view of the cosmos less simple. We usually think matter is spread out evenly when we look at things from far away, and the cosmos is pretty much the same everywhere you look. Timescape cosmology says those ideas might be hiding smaller versions of things that have a big impact. More studies are going to test if this model holds up with the new JWST data. The JWST has also sent back mind-blowing pictures from close to the Big Bang. The small, messy structures we expected haven't all turned up. The telescope can see light from over 13 billion years ago. JWST is finding huge, well-organized galaxies some with spinning disks, which goes against what we thought. One example is the Big Will Galaxy, which is a disk-shaped thing that shouldn't be there already if you follow the standard models. It might mean our timeline is off or galaxy formation works faster than we thought. If galaxies were bigger and more developed earlier on, the universe might be older than we think. These old galaxies also have heavy elements in them, which is odd. Those elements come from stars exploding, which means stars were being born and dying super fast way back when. 
This is also tied to how fast the universe is expanding. If what we're seeing doesn't match what we expect from looking at this old light, it could mean dark energy is changing. Some people think some of what we are seeing may have observational bias too. For example, really bright objects may seem farther away, but what JWST is actually seeing is that really the objects are nearby or the light is just redder than scientists previously expected. But, since we keep seeing these huge early galaxies, that's probably not all there is to it. So, scientists are trying to figure out if the Big Bang model needs some serious updates. Most still agree with the Big Bang theory because of all the evidence, like the cosmic microwave background. But these surprisingly mature galaxies are making us rethink how galaxies grow. Maybe the first stars were huge and died quickly, which sped up the process. Or maybe our current simulations of galaxy formation aren't good enough. Some people are even wondering if we're miscalculating distances. But that probably doesn't explain everything. The appearance of large galaxies early intersects with questions about supermassive black holes, which we also don't have solid theories for yet. All this is making current simulations creak and encourage a refresh of how we perform our calculations. All such complexity is based on how we see time and space. Cosmic voids, the big, empty areas of the universe, might be important. According to Timescape Cosmology, time might pass faster in these voids than in areas with more stuff in them because of gravitational time dilation. This could create differences that look like the universe is expanding. Even though they're mostly empty, voids still have faint galaxies and filaments of matter. But their emptiness might make time-related effects seem more noticeable there. Studying how light bends around massive objects, gravitational lensing, might give us clues about these time differences. Dark energy is a big mystery. We used to think gravity was slowing everything down, but actually, galaxies are speeding away from each other. This made scientists think there's some kind of energy pushing them apart. It's like 68% of the universe, with dark matter making up another 27%, and regular stuff like us only being 5%. At first, looking at supernovas told us the universe was expanding faster. But now, with newer telescopes, things aren't adding up. Dark energy might not be constant. It could change over time or be different in different places. There's this thing called the Hubble tension, where we get different expansion rates depending on how we measure it. One way uses light from the early universe, and the other uses galaxies we see now. If dark energy was steady, these numbers should match, but they don't. Maybe dark energy changes, or maybe our whole model is missing something. Here's another weird idea. Maybe time flows differently depending on gravity. This timescape cosmology suggests that if time goes faster in empty areas than in areas with lots of stuff, it could make the universe look like it's expanding faster than it really is. Some folks think dark energy might come from tiny quantum fluctuations or weird energy fields. JWST is helping us test these ideas by looking at how galaxies formed and how space expanded way back when. Dark energy is still a huge puzzle, and we might have to tweak Einstein's theories or come up with totally new ones. Timescape cosmology is another way to look at things. It says that what we see as expansion is just us misinterpreting how time works. It's not a new force. It's about how we see time changing across the universe. Scientists are checking these ideas against what we see out there. Some results sort of agree with timescape cosmology, but it's still a pretty new idea. Maybe dark energy changes over time, or maybe we need to adjust how we think about gravity. Timescape cosmology says maybe we're wrong about the universe being the same everywhere. JWST has given us amazing pictures from almost the beginning of the universe. Instead of small, messy galaxies, we're seeing huge, well-organized ones. The Big Wheel Galaxy, for example, throws off our timelines because galaxies shouldn't be that complex that early. This matters because these early galaxies tell us about dark matter, dark energy, and cosmic inflation. If galaxies were bigger earlier, maybe the universe is older or galaxies can form faster than we thought. We're also finding heavy elements in these old galaxies, which means stars were born and died super quick. This also messes with our expansion rate measurements. Some of this might be because of how we see things. For example, super bright, far away objects might look like red objects that are closer. But we're finding so many of these massive early galaxies that it can't all be mistakes. Most scientists still believe in the Big Bang, 
but JWST is making us rethink how galaxies formed. Maybe the first stars were huge and died fast, or maybe our simulations aren't good enough. Also, supermassive black holes showed up way earlier than our theories predict. Maybe we're not seeing time and space correctly. Cosmic voids, those big empty areas, might age faster than areas with more stuff. It may look like the universe is expanding, but maybe it is just our perception of time. We're looking at how gravity bends light to see if there's anything to this. JWST might be showing us that we need to change how we think about galaxies, dark energy, and even time. Even if these crazy ideas aren't right, they're making us think outside the box. We need to map how stuff is arranged and how galaxies connect. New instruments will give us a better look at voids, galaxy clusters, and how time works. Here's something really weird, galaxy spins. You'd think they'd spin randomly, but it looks like a lot of them spin in the same direction. This is like the axis of evil we saw in the cosmic microwave background, which also suggested the universe isn't as random as we thought.